Hey, Legal Shield family, Robert Dunbar here. I'm gonna shoot a couple of videos today. I'm uh, out here in the field. So I uh, had a dentist appointment uh, about an hour away from Orlando today. And um, I figured I would do some work out here with some companies that I'm already in an association with. So, you know, whatever you can get out of this, you can. So I'll give you a quick conversation before I go into uh, what I'm gonna be doing here. And hopefully this will assist some of you all as you move forward in your own personal business, of course. And um, always, always hit the uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel on your, on your bottom right hand side of the screen as well, uh, because I uh, want as many subscribers as possible. When you subscribe to my channel, that'll allow you to actually get uh, an email every time I upload a video. I normally do about two videos a week that I upload. So I'm gonna be shooting these videos just to kind of give you an idea of some things I'm doing in the field. So one, association. So. Me and another young lady are part of a, a, a roofing association. And in that roofing association, we attend every week, excuse me, every year, not every week, sorry, not every week, every year. Every year we attend a conference where we kind of mix and mingle and network with these companies. They got workshops. Uh, they have a big vending opportunity that we do for two days. Just a lot of that goes into working with this association. So, um, in this association, we also have a directory, and we're also in the directory. And what we do there, uh, something that's very important for you to understand, uh, we don't go into this company, uh, in this association, um, every way we can, meaning that we're not all things Legal Shield, uh, because we try to stay away from that. So what we do is we go into this association, and we only operate as a benefits company that offers legal and identity benefits to the employees, but again, what we offer on the CDL side is that they have, as roofers, they have a lot of people who don't have CDL licenses that are driving commercially, and then they also have some CDL operators. So we have the opportunity to offer the CDL plan, but our main thing is we offer benefits in this association. So I hope you get something out of that, the fact that we're doing that. So we work with them on a regular basis. So what happens is I try to make use of all, all the time that I can because uh, I move around so much and I work the networking side and the B2B side and insurance broker side and blah, 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 blah. So I want to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing my time correctly. So I had this appointment out here. So I contacted the young lady that I work with and I said, hey, look, could you do me a favor? Pull the directory and give me about five to 10 companies in this area. So when I leave the dentist's office, I can go by and drop packages off and remind them of us because we're at their a convention and we're a part of the association. So let me show you the folder. So I keep these folders in the trunk of my car. And I keep these folders, I keep these folders in the trunk of my car because I move around a lot and I've got accounts all over the country. So, um, and, and I'll prospect all over the country for that matter. So I always keep tools in my car. So another lesson to be learned is always be prepared. Always have legal shield tools in your vehicle. Do not leave the house without having your legal shield stuff. Have decision maker folders, have prospecting folders, whatever area of the business you're in. If you ladies of justice, then have your ladies of justice stuff in the trunk of the car just in case you run into an opportunity to do something at somebody's house. You just never know. Uh, you work from home, which means that your business can pretty much run anywhere, uh, anyway, uh, as long as it's professional. So I always keep folders in my car. So I had about 10 or 15 of these folders in the car. So I said, hey, you know what? Go in the directory, pull some companies in it where I'm at, here's my zip code, and then I'll go buy some places. And she did just that. And she texted me and said, hey, here's about five or 10 companies that are in the area you're in, probably anywhere between 15 minutes and 30 minutes from where your appointment is. So now I'm going place to place to drop off these folders and remi remind them of who I am. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna walk in and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm, I'm Robert Dunbar, I work with Legal Shield. just stopping by here. I'm part of the association. I'm not saying the association, obviously purposely on this video, but I'm part of y'all's association. I'm at the convention with you all every year. I wanted to stop by and make sure I could put this package in the hands of your human resource representative because we spoke to you all at the conference about providing legal and identity theft benefits to your employees and you thought it was a good idea. So I wanted to come by here and drop it off in person now that we don't have all the hustle and bustle of the conference going on right now. So if you need to hear that again, just rewind the video, obviously. And what do I have, right? The legal shield, just like you are, employee benefit, um, HR page, 
what the employee benefits include, legal and identity theft, with the apps on the bottom. I'm still using a one-page application with the pricing, bam. And we always use a, a letter, a cover letter, what we call a cover letter. And the lady I work with does these very well. She always makes these cover letters. She does them for me, for my accounts, and for the accounts we have together. Nice, legal shield, ID shield. She's got that on there on the cover letter. Um, and then she got information saying who we are, how long we've been around, what the cost of the product is, and uh, the, about the member perks, and then how to enroll in the membership. So just a, just a little cover page, just letting them know a couple things. <clears throat> this account is an older account, just so you know. So we still offer the fifteen ninety five in this account. So if you're wondering why the Legal Shield and ID Shield logo look like that, it's because it's an older account. So we still have that on there because that's what they're used to seeing right now. We have the old flyer for the old 1595 plan because we still sell that in this account. So inside the folder is that 1595 trifold brochure, but we have it laid out as a PDF. ID Shield, front and back. Member perks. So, member perks flyer in there as well. So, we got our legal shield folder, all of our professional information that we need. And I go hit the companies, and then once I hit the companies, I let her know what kind of response I got. She follows up via administratively. So, basically, she does the administrative work, and I do the field work. That's pretty much how that works. So, I'm gonna go ahead and drop one of my business cards in this slot. So that that's in there. Not that y'all want to see me do all of this on a video, but y'all be wanting to know what's going on during a person's day, right? So reality TV <laughs> that you can make money off of. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and drop my legal shield, ID shield, business card in the folder. I got quite a few of these folders. And I'm gonna go drop these off. Now, something else I wanted to mention before the video was up. Right now, I'm at my first stop. And um, I made the mistake of doing something that I preach about, I talk about all the time, not preach as a preacher, for those that don't really know me, um, that I talk about all the time, that I didn't personally do myself. So when I'm training, I always tell people, when you're doing walk-ins, if you're gonna go and walk the community, or if you're gonna pull 10 companies and go visit those companies because you don't wanna make calls, Always make sure you go to Google and do an area or the company to make sure that the company is a place that you can walk into. Especially in the world of transportation, when you're talking about CDL, a lot of times the companies will be in a home and you don't wanna knock on somebody's house door even though they're using their address for business. Especially women, you definitely don't wanna do that. Especially in uh, country areas like um, in Jacksonville, we got some areas, I'm not in Jacksonville right now, but in Jacksonville we got some areas like Middleburg and stuff like that, where them guys, they liable to have a gun at the front door. So I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm not talking about any type of person. It's not that you're some type of person, it's just when you live in certain areas, like country areas like Middleburg, them guys are gonna have a shotgun at the front door. So you knocking on their door, you know, so you just don't ever know what people are gonna think. So I'm just telling you guys, just keep in mind, um, when you're going door to door, or if you're going to pull companies and go do uh, solid walk-ins, always pull the company on Google and then do an aerial so that you can see visu visually see the building and make sure that it's a, a business place that you can walk into. So if it's not, then you may want to call that place. So right now I'm at my very first stop and it's actually a home address, right? So because it's a home address, I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to tell the young lady I work with to call this place because I don't want to knock on the door because I don't know what I'm going to get. So. Just so you guys have an idea, I'm in front of the place right now and it's an actual house. So I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go knock on the door because this is, this is supposed to be a roofing company and I'm not gonna go knock on the front door of a house that's supposed to be a roofing company because obviously they're using their home address um, on their paperwork and things like that. So this is a no-go. So just keep that in mind. So our video's about to hit 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. But when I get to the next place, I'll, get, I'll, I'll do a shoot another video. I'll kind of keep you guys up to date on what's happening with my day. Robert Dunbar here, signing off, training by Dunbar. Talk to you soon.